What's going on Gas Gang? Yes, we are back with another sick installment of the OG Battles in partnership with Race Logic. And as you see behind me, I've got my Audi RS5 and today I'm gonna race an Audi RS3. Guys, this is gonna be real interesting. So stay tuned and let's get it. So yes guys, as the intro said today, yeah, OG's getting involved and I'm going to be racing my RS5 against an RS3. As usual, we're going to be doing four tests. The first one's going to be a 0 to 60 test. And yes, I did blow up my uh, gearbox last time I done a 0 to 60, so it should be interesting. After that, we're going to be doing a quarter mile test. After that, we're going to be having a quarter mile race from a dig. And finally, we're going to be doing a rolling race. So as I say, it's going to be very interesting. Obviously, cars are not on the same platform. However, they are very similar matching spec. And before we tell you about that, let's quickly have a word with John from Race Logic to tell you a little bit more about the V-Box Performance Box Touch that we'll be using today. The Performance Box Touch is a versatile product. It's not just a performance meter for 0 to 60s. Um, we can do lap timing on there as well, uh, including predictive lap timing, which shows a driver how fast or slow they are compared to their previous best lap and where time can be gained on a circuit. Our V-Box has become industry standard over the years. Um, it's been used by OEMs all over the world to validate and calibrate and test their vehicles before releasing to the public. It's used by tuners to work out real world gains before and after a tune, and even used as a benchmark for our competitors as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the guys get on today. Thanks, John. So now guys, let's tell you a little bit more about the cars and the owner of the RS3. So first up, it's Steve, with his 530 brake horsepower space lift Audi RS3. This thing's running a full stage two tune, turbo back exhaust, an intake and an intercooler. He's equipped with a dual clutch transmission and the car weighs 1520 kg. And he's up against me with my 535 brake horsepower Audi RS5. This is running a stage two tune, decap downpipes, methanol injection for cooling only so it's not mapped in. The RS5 weighs 1655 kg which is 21 stone heavier than the RS3. My RS5 is running a traditional auto gearbox and a quattro all wheel drive system. First up is 0 to 60s. Get a quick sound check. And the performance box PBT starts recording as soon as he starts moving. So when he's ready, he's just gonna let it rip. And that's an incredible time of 2.93 seconds to 60. The first car to go sub three seconds so far on the battles. And let's just take a quick look at the 0 to 60 all wheel drive leaderboard. As you can see, Steve goes top, but can he stay there? Up next is me. Sound check. <laughs> all right, guys, this is so worrying because last time I blew my gearbox up, but I'm a brake boost it. Full send for the culture. Let's get it. <laughs> And that is what 2.89 seconds looks like to 60. <laughs> and round one goes to me. So let's just take a quick look at the all wheel drive zero to 60 leaderboard. And as you can see, I go top. And now it's time for the quarter mile test. Steve manages a great time of 11.21 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the all-wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard. 
So once again, Steve goes top with a time of 11.21 seconds to the quarter mile and a trap speed of 122 miles an hour. All right, guys, for the culture, car didn't explode, but will it explode this time? Quarter mile run, I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it. Gotta, gotta beat this RS3, man. Jeez. All right, let's do it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Woo okay! That felt alright! Car did not explode! Jeez! Gas that here! Woo! And I just beat him with a time of 11.20 flat. So let's just take a quick look at the all wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard. And as you can see, I go top with a time of 11.20, but surprisingly, a slower trap speed of 120 miles an hour, two miles an hour slower than the RS3. <laughs> Next up, it's the drag race. And going off the previous recordings, it's anybody's race. This is gonna be mad. As expected, it was an incredibly close race, but I managed to get him by about half a car length. That was one hell of a tight race. We are pretty much together the whole way. And once again, the round goes to me, but boy, that was close. And now it's time for the roll race. Let's see how this one pans out. So we're gonna to roll together at 30 miles an hour, and once we hit the cone, it's go time. Ready? All right, let's do it. In manual, second gear. Get to 30, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go! Go! Oh, I missed it, no! A flop. Oh, missed! No! No! I, <laughs> I switched it to manual and I missed my gear! Oh. Oh. And as you can see, the RS3 gaps me by a bendy bus length. How can you flop a gear change in an auto? Oh man. It got me! Got me! Ah! Yes. Oh, that's joke. So the RS3 claws one back and takes round four. And although all races were incredibly close, guess what? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, guys, so that is the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed another installment of OG The Battles. And you know what? The RS5 come through today. Three out of four went to me. And Steve, you got me on a roller. But thank you for coming anyway, brother. A sick day. So guys, if you have enjoyed today, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out the links in the description for the V-Box Performance Box Touch. A massive shout out to Race Logic, And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.